So now we're heading over into topic 6.2 and we're going to talk a bit about the, the cardiac system or things to do with the heart. And um, you need to know about the anatomy, like the structure of the heart, as well as the different mechanisms involved when the heart beat, beats and what happens there. So let's look at the first question, which shows this diagram of a human heart at the bottom. And what structures are labelled by the labels X, Y and Z? So X, Y and Z over here. So I think the very first thing that you need to know about is that every time you look at um, a heart diagram, you need to know that right is actually on the left and then the left is actually on the right. So this is actually the left ventricle and then this is actually the right ventricle. So that's the very first thing that you need to know. Okay, so given that, so X, so we're on the right, we're talking about talking about the right side of the heart here and that's the first chamber so we're talking about a right atrium so straight away we can get rid of a we can get rid of b so how about y so y looks like a pulmonary artery because as you as you come into the right atrium you go past these av valves over here into the right ventricle and then you kind of come out of the come out of the highway and the highway lead, that leads out is highway um, pulmonary artery, so high, highway PA. And that doesn't really help us here because we know that both answers for C and D are pulmonary artery. The thing that we do know is that um, the last thing which differentiates it is Z, and Z is one of the valves. Now we said that the first set of valves is the AV valve because it links the atrium, the A, to the V, to the ventricle. And after that, as the blood comes out, then the, the valve which separates the pulmonary artery over here from the right ventricle was actually known as the semilunar valves. So we know that the correct answer is D here. So if it was atrioventricular valve, you'd expect the Z to be pointing to somewhere over here, wouldn't you? The valve between the atrium and the ventricle. Question number two. What is the correct pathway for blood flowing through the heart? So once again, you need to know your basic anatomy. So let's look at the first one. So the right atrium, okay, that sounds about right, the smaller chamber on the right. Uh, right ventricle, okay. But then it doesn't flow into the aorta because the aorta is actually a left-sided, is a left-sided um, main artery. So if this was to be correct, it would be right atrium, right ventricle, followed by the pulmonary artery. So it's not A. B, left atrium, okay, left ventricle, pulmonary artery. So once again, they've mixed this up again. The pulmonary artery is incorrect. You'd expect the left ventricle to actually lead to the aorta. Because remember, the aorta is on the left-hand side. It's a left-sided valve, uh, a left-sided um, artery, whereas the pulmonary artery is a right-sided one. Now C, um, the right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary artery. Yes, that sounds exactly right. But let's have a look at D before we jump to conclusions. So left atrium, left ventricle, pulmonary vein. So that's incorrect because the pulmonary vein actually comes from the lungs. So it comes from comes from the lungs, um, and it comes back and feeds back into the left atrium. So if this was to be correct, once again, it would be left atrium, then left ventricle, and then it would be going to the aorta. The pulmonary vein is wrong. So therefore, the answer is C. Question number three, which chamber of the heart has the thickest walls? And this is just one that you'll have to know from the top, from the top of your head. And I, there's no, no really trick to knowing it. You just have to memorize it. You need to know that's a left ventricle. And that's because the left ventricle, it has to, uh, the, the right side, you have to think of the right side as weaker than the left hand side. Because the right side only pumps to the lungs, which is very close to the heart, isn't it? Whereas the left side of the heart has to pump to the whole of the body even to the, like the bottom of your toes, so it's got to be um, very strong, so you know that it's not any of the right hand side. And left the atrium, the atrium, what does the atrium do? It kind of gives a little kick and pushes that blood into the ventricle. Whereas the ventricle itself, the left ventricle, that has to pump blood, as I said before, all the way to your toes, to your head, etc. So the left ventricle is by far the thickest. Question number four, what is the condition of the valves of the heart when the right ventricle was contracting? Um, so when the right ventricle was contracting, uh, you need to talk about the valves. So um, the way that you can think of it from the previous diagram is that um, you have here. So these are our valves. Uh, 
and this is our uh, right ventricle yeah, here and so this one so the atrium would be up here with the blood flowing um, inside like this and then blood flowing outside like this so when the right ventricle was contracting you'd have blood kind of uh, you have blood pushing against this one so what that does is that it ends up closing it so so if you look at in my green then the valve would be closed like that the leaflets would close against each other and what would happen on the the right ventricle well because the valves actually pointing that way then the blood would actually escape and then the valves would actually look like the green that I'm drawing out right now so that would open so you're expecting the semilunar valves you're expecting the semilunar valves to be open and you'd also be expecting the atrioventricular valve to be closed so that's all we need to look for. The AV valves that are closed and semilunar valves which are open. So that's D. Okay? There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.